Hello everybody, John Chris back here again with another video, and I'm back with some more Empire Magazine images. Now, of course, other than Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, Empire Magazine gave us some new awesome images for Deadpool, the movie. Now, of course, as you all know, Deadpool is hands down one of my most anticipated movies of next year, other than Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and obviously Civil War. Deadpool is just something I really want to see, and Comic-Con released an awesome rated R, uh, you know, trailer that, ironically enough, will be actually debuting uh, several weeks from now I think uh, they actually classified it it's going to be going down obviously it's a green band trailer so it's going to be definitely highly edited because obviously the the comic-con version was very rated R and was very un uh, I guess family friendly if you will but of course uh, I did do a review on that version so of course go back to my channel and check it I'll probably have a card somewhere on this video so you can go check out my tr uh, my review for that trailer uh, more than likely, for this newer version, I'll probably make another trailer uh, review for that one, specifically just because they're more than likely going to be completely different, seeing as how one's going to be very rated R, and the other version's going to be very family-friendly, I guess, or at least family-friendly for a Deadpool movie. But that being said, uh, let's get into these images. Of course, we get to see Deadpool uh, freaking kick some ass with his dual swords. Really awesome image. It's kind of like the same image we get majority with Deadpool action sequences with this movie. I mean, like, I got the feeling that I've seen this one image every single time there's a new image for Deadpool. I mean, it's always like on this one street and that one freaking... Uh, truck and then that one specific city and that one specific Deadpool fighting these freaking specific people. I don't know why. It's just like, does everything take place in this one street? But other than that, Deadpool looks badass. And then moving off of that, we also get another image of Deadpool, once again with the character of Negasonic Teenage Warhead, one hell of a mouthful of a character, but pretty interesting. I can't wait to see these two interact. It's going to be freaking badass. And of course, the last image is Wade Wilson, not fucked up, of course, uh, if you know... If you've seen the trailer at Comic-Con or you already know everything about Wade Wilson, then you already know that there will be generally a transition, a metamorphosis, if you will, of Wade Wilson who becomes Deadpool. This is obviously pre-Deadpool, I'm guessing, seeing as how Wade Wilson does not look like, you know, a Fre Freddy Krueger abortion, or at least, um, I, I know I'm paraphrasing that, but that's actually a joke in the trailer that... T.J. Miller does in the rated R version of the Comic-Con uh, trailer, which is pretty hysterical. He says it a lot funnier. I did it shittier, but mind you, it's a lot funnier. But that being said, he's uh, just holding co uh, the character of Copycat in this weird arcade room, and pretty interesting images. I can't wait to see this movie. Uh, I really can't wait to see the trailer in, in its high-res quality. I, that's kind of like my main goal right now. I just want to see the trailer. I don't even care if it has none of that rated R stuff. I mean, granted, I would have liked it if they kept that shit in, but I just want to see it in high def because those Comic-Con trailers this year were so freaking awesome, but the CM bootleg, it's just a tra travesty. It's a, I don't even want to use that word. That's how despicable I feel by seeing them bootleg, but nonetheless, it is going to be coming out soon, and I can't wait to review it and sh just talk all awesomeness about it, but that being said, let me know what you personally think about the Empire Magazine images of Deadpool, let me know in the comment section below what you personally thought about them, what are your personal thoughts on the trailer, uh, did you see the Comic-Con version, are you um, interested as to what they kept into the Green Band version, let me know in the comment section below, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and this has been John 12